Hey guys, Psycho Crimson Ginger here, and today we are going to be playing more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We are going to head off to Glitzville, and we gotta go meet Don Pianta. Freeze! You too, not another step, don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. <laughs> ah, idiot, you stepped on it, my poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Alright, I guess we gotta find an optometrist. Where the fuck would we buy a contact lens, though? Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of... in. Ishnail, head of the robos. It's ten coins to pass through. I can take you. <laughs> you think violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? Well, maybe in here? I guess, I don't... What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right now for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? I'm just gonna rest in the inn. I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. Hey fella, sorry, but your context lens hasn't arrived yet. I feel terrible about this, but you'll have to wait a little longer. Alright, I guess, see what's over here. This area is the turf of Isnail and Robo, Band of Thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in the back alley uh, that few people can spot. Oh, I'll kick this guy's ass. Who, oh, me? My name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology and am now an amazing thief. Ah ha You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves you lost. What business brings a chump like you into a place like this? Say it ain't a vacation. What's up? You want to meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too? Yeah. You know all that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it will cost you 64 coins. And no budget on that price. Not a single coin inside. Ugh, forget you, pal. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. Oh, eat a cock. Ah, oh, yes. Hey, valued customer. Your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Ten coins. Alrighty, I guess. A contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Well, maybe if you were more cautious about your items, then this issue wouldn't have happened. Instead, you want people to just completely accommodate to your needs because you think you're the most special. Shut your stupid toad head ass up. Alright, this definitely looks like a pianta. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. I am the Pianta Change Changer Changing Machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta. Ugh. Is black. It's actually brown, but red, green, yellow, or black. Now Mario, being you know Mario, he's probably gonna say, "Oh, red is my favorite color. It's the color of spaghetti and the pasta, and the color of my hat and overall." Ahem. Okay, Mister. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Yes! I did it! Oh my fucking god. It's so dumb. Oh, well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Oh, 30 minutes wasted. That's so dumb. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Oh, brother. Okay. Let's go, let's go meet Don Pianta. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't, not, I ain't too jolly today. If you got beef, spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me, you wanna, you want me to give you a 
ticket for the blimp. See now, to me that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I sh should run this bum out the rail, boss? Look at look at it. Look at him. What a rude. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk. No, that ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. Was that? You wanna help some broad? What? Got herself kidnapped. And to rescue this name, you're out collecting the crystal stars? The, the crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about ancient treasure? treasure? Finny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that lot. That treasure is as real as I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help. But like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and you'll get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair? I'm not entirely sure. I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They oughta still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Frances Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. 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 Boss. We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss. Vinny's right. Leave it to us far to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's because you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decisions. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. That won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. Glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So, it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. I don't remember where they are. Maybe they're in... No, they're not in Bogley Woods. I feel like they're in, uh... Petto Meadows. I could be wrong, though. Uh, we'll find out. I think they're over here, actually. I, I think I'm mistaken. I don't know why I thought Petto Meadows, but I think they're over here. Yeah, yeah, here they bitches are. Oh, I'm dead. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something, or are you just sliding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him. By the way, he didn't search very hard. You're, like, on the entrance of town, like, at the dock of Roadport. What the fuck? What should we do if daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and that bow's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can find, if we can just talk, calm-like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar, cookie, more than anybody in the w whole world. Now let's go, Frankie. Let's run. To the ends of the earth, we have to. But, but a biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will exting extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. No way, sob sister. What did you say to me? You're terrible, terrible man. Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from the spot. That's all right. Let's be let's be real. Frankie might die because uh, that's just an associate. But uh, Don Pianta's not gonna kill his daughter. That'd be fucked up. Look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So give. What you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Sure, I do, and I'll tell you. Oh, 
Is that a true fact, Rope Port Harbor, eh? Well done, I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods, the kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss, I'm sorry. Truly I am. Frankie! So back you come, head hung low with your tail between your legs. No, daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come talk, come back and talk to you, daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care. What do you do to me? I deserve it for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all me. It's my responsibility. All to blame. Right here. Daddy. Boss. Yarg. Enough. Quiet. Both of you. Francesca. My headstrong daughter. You used your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you were pay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy, boss, I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, daddy. Dad. No, wait, I mean boss. <laughs> Thank you so much, daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise. She'll, she'll want for nothing. Enough already, just go, go. <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. You still here? Hmm, well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can leave your... You can have your limp ticket, like I said. Yes! Who knew? The guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. And just when I thought we could start this cordial, amicable relationship with Don Pianta and maybe, you know, take over Rogueport. But I guess not. There it is. The fight capital of Mario. Glitzville. Oh, look at how prestigious these people look. They're very prominent figures, you can tell. Uh, let's just, let's just go in. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna enter this area. That seems where to go. Oh, and here's the battle arena. Oh dear me, what a positively glorious venue. Oh mercy Mario, look there, those two brutes are about to have it at each other. That's right, uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. <laughs> Oof. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rock Rock. Wee champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can hear me. Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. Yes, I do believe it is. That wonderful sparkle is yet another, is yet another crystal star. But such a tardry place to find it. Why would it be here of all places? I don't know. Let's battle our way to the top. Oh, you daring man. I'm so happy to hear that you say that. I'd expect nothing less. You're ten times the man of anyone here. You'll be a champion in no time. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you better meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Who in tarnation are you, son, and who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yup, that's me, Grubba. And you? You're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What? What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Yahoo! Change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up-and-comer. Now, pl play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous, glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn skippy. All right, all right, son. I hear what you're coming from. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey patoot for fancy big city ways, but I jumped into the world of martial arts and 
fought my way to fame and riches. And you know what? I realized being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. <laughs> now, I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours, exactly. Yep, that's right. The key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You're reading me here, son. Where's the leak, ma'am? Now, now, how you like this, pod? Just feast your eyes, go on, this is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe, you become a champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't it, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Applying yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubb says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubb releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become re relevant. Well, I kind of would just prefer if you explain it at all to me now, but whatever. Squaring off next, folks, are the hoppin' hardheads and a newcomer with a hankering for hammering the great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How do Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Hey, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot. That's who. Waiting just makes us mad. Okay, now Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Head bo Oh, nah, nah, you want a trifle with the Mario. It's time for Quake. Oh, and you call you guys a threat. One measly star point too. That wasn't even worth my time. You talked all that smack. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd, you know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give them more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene, here... I'll give you your fight money. See ya. You got three coins. Mario's ranking rose to 19. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm ready for the next fight. That, that wasn't even a fight, that last one. Hey, dog. Looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to both of us. Yeah, good luck, man. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioners, the Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to finish with the KP Koopas. Me and my peeps, Gonzalez, I told you we were going to square off, and now it's on, like Donkey Kong. Get your sails ready and battle. All right, I got to use a special move, and I'm going to need you to b -b body slam. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to multi-bounce. One measly star point. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. Why, that was no fuss whatsoever. Here's your fight mo money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received four coins. Mario's ranking rose to 18. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out a beatdown out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? It definitely could. I, I, I respect our rivalry. Man... You see them three super fine shorties there, shorties out there in the front? You gotta talk to them, dog. Get some digits. <laughs> and boom, dead. Quite easy. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside getting a new menu item. Yeah, sounds like it's some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying that the hot dog will help you in fights. You had a snack out. Snack out on one. So this is when I get my new partner. Okay. Move, dummy. No, oh, bad. So very bad. Behave yourself, egg. No, oh, bad. Come back, help. My imported egg escaped. Somebody catch it. So bad it doesn't even have arms and legs and still cannot catch it. My menu is going to have the southern fried egg of daisiness, but now, bad, I ordered that naughty egg from an island in the south. I had to pay shipping too, don't just stand there and help me catch it. Get off the roof! Most awfully bad, come down from that bad egg, how am I supposed to get it now, fly there? 
You, don't just stand there. Use your, with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. Of course, I have to find a way to get up there. Oh my god, bro. Now you wish for us to help you, darling little egg. Mario, what do you think? Help the little guy. Not that I expected any less. Shall we free him? You, sir, you, Mr. Proprietor, will you allow us to free this poor soul? Ah, oh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. Well, that... It's just lovely. You're free to do whatever you like, dear egg. Farewell. Hmm? What is that now, dear? You wish to accompany us, you adorable thing? I dare say. Of course. You're all clear, little one, but... Do try not to get underfoot, alright? Don't use items, that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Quake hammer, never forbade that. Yes! I did it! Bingo! Bingo was his fucking name oh. Trying to run off with that? No. Who do you think you is? We'll keep rising in the ranks, and people are gonna get stabbed with some shanks. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Alright, Coops, let's go. Do do do, you're fucking dead. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter. Dig, after my- after next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure, but you know what? That's life, double G-dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget you once knew the King K. I will never forget you, King K. I like how, like, each character has their own, like, cool, like, unique saying. Because Coops and, uh, Flurry don't say the same shit. Which I can appreciate. This is easy. Please have the fire flower. If not, I'm gonna look like a dummy. Multi bounce. And b -b -b body slam. Jesus Christ. Well, that was easy, but they they well, they did they cool well, they did a lot of damage. Well, my dog cats. If it ain't the Great Gonzalez, fix him for a fight, huh? Ha ha ha! Hooey, you're gonna love this. Your next opponent is rank ten in the glitch split, the Armored Harrys. That's right, you're darn tootin', you're finally gonna make it to a major league, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't you go letting us down now. Now, in today's main event, the major league awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzalez, but only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouse, the Iron Adonis Twins. Bah, give up now. Well, Stinkwad, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. I'm sure I am. supposed to lose this fight because I can't use items so body slam is not gonna do shit nope nothing and it's not letting me block all right if first tremor doesn't do anything we're supposed to die here I gotta be perfect here god fucking Damn it! I did nothing anyway, so we're supposed to lose. We got ourselves a winner, the Armored Aries. Bah, oh, you like that? We try to tell you, but no. You want another piece? Pummel pie, have a bath and come back, punk. Okay, our first L. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Three coins, I bet. One co oh, that's terrible. Oh, mercy me, Mario. That adorable little egg seems to have disappeared. Where could the little fellow have gotten himself to? Yo! Okay, I got green. You hatch from that egg? Well, aren't you precious? Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want the cr uh, crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there. So I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of the egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You see, I'm fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Oh, this is a lot of responsibility. Uh, Destroyer. Perfect. Hmm. 
Destoyer. Oh, oh I God. spelled it wrong. Oh, that's gonna bother me. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez. Let's get out there and uh, do some damage. This Yoshi is now our friend. He'll answer to Destoyer. Oh, I'm pissed. Oh, Destoyer. Whatever, it's got a ring to it. You better not be a fucking primer. Press X to get up. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, first and foremost, you only have 10 health. That's kind of pathetic. But I gotta sleep first. Alright, now it is time. We're gonna try this again. Blah, blah, huh? Stinkwad challenging us again. He'll, he never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy little partner. As if that's gonna help him. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna appeal. Get my star points up. Gonzala, you over here. I'm gonna have you gulp these fuckers. Hex, yeah. Yeouch. You spiked me right into the... That really hurt. Our iron bods and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh, dang, bro. Has he discovered our weak points? Yes, I think I have. Mario, you can tank these all day. Oh, and they're dead. We're very close to another level up, which I'll probably upgrade the BP. Or do we have to go back to the minor leagues now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations. Great Gonzalez with this win. You made the major league. Now that folks, what will we call a wild old woodly fight? A diggity dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places, I can tell you. Who we? Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear from him. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more battles in the major league, and I think that's gonna be it for this video. Mr. Greba, I brought Mr. Gonzalez, as you requested. Ma, ma, Mr. Olin, you mind your manners now. We knock around here, missy. I apologize, Mr. Greba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Now, what I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Gonzalez, you, you all so-and-so. Let me congratulate you. Congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. I got a special little something something for you. Go on, take it. You got 30 coins. Hell fucking yeah. Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. Oh, here's the next level. This is the Major League locker room. You'll use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. You do that. I'm gonna do a couple more fights. And yeah, this is this is the new new locker room we're gonna be in. What's the big deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the leagues. That's me. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill. Skinny mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you. Ha ha ha. What a waste of time. Keep doubting us. Keep undermining my ability and you're gonna get smoked. What's your deal, Gonzalez, huh? Oh, the champ's belt. What in the- Hey, you. Get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hey you, you think you can just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling me my belt a fake, you shrimpy, non-belt having wimps. Then did your mama teach you any manners? Whoa, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock. All right, buddy. What's that? Your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get the email from? If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Who the heck is this X dude? X don't give it to you. He talks like he's the man to see about the crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. Come with me. Coming, coming. Move. Oh, it's the next battle. Ah, these guys ain't, they got nothing on me. We get the Earth Tremor. This time, don't suck, Josh.
I got scared. Fuck. Well, they're dead. That was easy. Eight star points. We'll do one more battle so we level up and that'll be it. Um, Mario, wasn't that your email alert just now? Shouldn't you check it? Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit. Gee whiz, that X guy again, huh? He wants us to go to the watering hole. Who in the world is this guy? I don't know, but we're gonna do that. Alright, uh, I don't know where this watering hole is, so we're just gonna talk to this guy, I guess. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for the thick stash man named Gonzalez and give this to him. And this is the letter, and this, the letter was talking about this. Super hammer. Ooh, I got a new hammer. So far, I could tell that hammer's a new model. The Hamahawk 2005. No nice hammer all around. Sell of craftsmanship. Good grip, high bonk ability. Gonzalez, email time. Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room. The blockade in the minor league. Uh huh. I might not be able to battle. Oh, look at these dummies. Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad. What are you doing here? Don't mind me. Just, you know. Just doing, you know, Mario business. Interesting. What is that? Ah, and this is probably where I... You got a dubious paper. A letter that looks like it has a lot of important stuff in it. Let's read that before we do our final fight. Whoa, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. You again, Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. I don't like her. Something about her. Alright, let's go do a f our final battle so we can fucking level up. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty. Your next opponent will be rank 7 in the glitz split. The Shell Shockers. So called, great Gonzalez. <clears throat> don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. Ah, oh, okay, the risk paid off. And I leveled up. We'll figure out that email. I'll read it, but we'll figure that out. You're sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong, and you are dead meat. Man, that dude sounds beeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex-buddy. Who do you think would said something like that? I don't know. Alright, so that is it for this part of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Uh, it might have to be like this from now on. I'm probably not going to be able to finish uh, the chapters in one going, or the video is going to be astronomically long, and I, I don't feel like going over like an hour and a half. That's even an hour and a half is pushing it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Psycho Crimson Ginger, and I'll see you in the next one. See you, psychos.